Good morning everybody. It's just after eight o'clock. I actually have been awake since three because I had a very restless husband last night and I had very aching hips and very sore feet. I'm just taking a toaster and some breakfast upstairs. I've got some kids have been awake for hours too. I've got some kids that have just woken up and started painting again. We're gonna go up there see what sort of stuff's happening. I know there's a lot of ha has happened since yesterday, the last video I just probably just saw. But hopefully sometime today I'll be able to take you in and have a look around the yard as well. We'll see. See you soon. Oh, and before I forget, the cat came back yesterday. A good 24 hours after he disappeared. He came back. Much joy, because I was worried about him all night and all day yesterday. Yeah, he just rocked up into the bus. So he's been somewhere that was quite traumatised. So wherever he's been, we're hoping that he don't want to go away again. So he's been in with my grandson in his, in his room all night. So hopefully he'll be... You know, staying around instead of taking off again. We'll see about that too. Okay, it's 11.45. This is take two because I forgot to press record. <laughs> I've been informed I've got to go to the bedroom to check out the paint job Mr. F F 14 did. What he's done today is pulled out some rubbish off the floor and he has sanded with the orbital sander all the walls. Gone a little bit deep there, I think. To patch a couple of those up. Mr. Hold Man Boom is still asleep because he's not great. Um, but he painted all the ceiling and he did a really good job. There's a couple of drop marks, drop marks, but he's done a really good job with the ceiling. So I'm really impressed. So yeah, he's got that done. Okay, it's 11.45. This is take two because I forgot to press record. I've been informed I've got to go to the bedroom to check out the paint job Mr. F F 14 did. What he's done today is pulled out some rubbish off the floor and he has sanded with the orbital sander all the walls. Gone a little bit deep there, I think. To patch a couple of those up. <sighs> Mr. Hold Man Boom is still asleep because he's not great. Um, but he painted all the ceiling and he did a really good job. There's a couple of drop marks, drop marks, but he's done a really good job with the ceiling. So I'm really impressed. So yeah, he's got that done. It's currently 2.30 on the Sunday afternoon. Um, old man's been not been well. He only just woke up about 40 minutes ago. I've been to Bunnings and Lismore to get paint um, and a few other bits and pieces we need. And I forgot to mix the paint. You know how they spin it like that? They didn't do it. So we got back with a tin of paint. We had to stir and stir and stir until we got it right. I did ring them up and let them know to be more aware <laughs> in a nice way. Um, you'll see all the bits that the kids are doing now. My husband's just standing off Mr. Fit 14's room. The ceiling's done in his room, which you'll see in a second, and uh, this little thing over there behind me went, uh, got through the gate, one of the kids left the gate open, the big kids, and she went for a wander, but I had the neighbours message and say, welcome, we've got your dog, it's got a tag on it, that's good. But today it's a bit of a, bit of a whirlwind for me, it's probably the first time I've actually been able to stay here constantly most of the day, other than going out this morning, and I've just been, like again, grand, 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 trying to, each room trying to do something else, something for each of the kids, trying to keep them keep them going. Um, Mr. 14 sort of flaked. Considering he wanted to be a professional painter, I think he might have changed his mind. But uh, Mr. 12 is doing really well, as you'll see in a second too. The uh, main room hasn't been done. Our bedroom hasn't really been done either because it's been used by other people in it, kids in it. So it'll all happen eventually. You know what I might do? I might take you out the backyard because, yeah. Uh, Mr. 20. Oh, hang on. Turn it. Gurney and so did so did Miss Seventeen's boyfriend did some gurney in out here and clean that up but it will, will be nice when it's all done. We're going to actually pull them tight them pavers out and use them elsewhere. All these treads are good. We're going to paint them black probably. Oh, I'm in pain. My feet were throbbing all night. A little bit of gurney was still on here too. It comes out nice but that's going to be all painted charcoal. I'm going to take it out the back. But yeah, I'm just... Uh, Pretty drained. My feet were so sore. I ended up waking up middle of the, like three o'clock with aching hips. And Mr. Old Man Boomer, uh, and he was t twitching and tossing and turning and going up to twenty thousand times. And then I had a message: "Are you awake, Grand?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So Miss Twenty and I have both been awake all night, basically. 
all, all morning. And uh, Mr. Oh, old man Boomer's not feeling great. But look, this is my backyard. <sighs> Kids are just throwing stuff everywhere. I try and tell them, throw it over in that pile, okay? Throw it over in that pile. We don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to pull this out eventually. I think one of the things I don't know if I spoke to you about. Um, what I think? My ring's got... Oh, what a shame. Um, this, there's a gate in there. And there's a gate over here. Got that locked in at the moment so the kids, the dogs can share time in. Um, but we're going to, my friend suggested we put the double gate here. So we're going to block off. Dogs, some dogs can be up there, some dogs can be down here. So yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, the neighbours don't much. They got really badly flooded, so they don't need much with their with their backyard. But we will take that upstairs. It's going to get wrecked down here. It was in new condition until we had it on the car the other day. It was, it was new, brand new, but the plastic ripped and tore out the uh, screen. So I've got to whack that screen back in. I'll take that upstairs in a minute. Um, this backyard is huge. You guys saw it in the, in the pictures the other day. Look at all the stump things from the... Yeah, I don't know where they came from. There's a lot of cleaning up to do. The kids thought they were going to have a big fire last night. I said, nope. But we're going to put a uh, trick pen. Probably in this corner over here somehow. So we've got a bit of... Bit of shade and a bit of warmth as well, and possibly bring the gazebo over here somewhere. But we're going to put some um, raised garden beds along here. So probably put the raised garden beds over there, grow some fashion fruit and all that sort of stuff on there. Do the same over here, some other sort of fruits and raised. We do the raised beds over there in between those trees, and we put right my husband's um, <laughs> that old gazebo. We're going to bring it over here with the pavers down, line it with green stuff, you know that green stuff, um, shade cloth, and he's going to use it as a orchid house is what we want to do with that. This here, we're going to put, get a slab put over here between the gate and the fence probably and put that over there. That's what we're planning on. That's what I'm planning on doing. I still like the idea of bringing the bus down here. That's what I was thinking about doing, bringing, getting all this levelled out. And putting the bus down here but I don't know whether he'd be able to back it down and swing it I'm sure it'll be too much for him but it'll be better than the front yard in my opinion but we'll see what happens how did one of our forks get down here okay so out here I don't know if I can get in here because I think oh yeah, I can um, that raised bed will go out the back so that's the gazebo we're gonna move and there's lots of doggy do someone can come and clean up shortly and yeah eventually I mean that fence is bad. Eventually that'll all be replaced. Maybe with the chain mesh we've got here now. I don't know. But yeah, we'll work out something. Franchi Penny. It's been there a long time. But this raised bed will go out the back. And the kids decided this is where they want their trampoline. Right here. Right here. So that's where their trampoline's going to go apparently. Now I'm going to show you down here. It's really bad. The Avery's good. It just needs one new door on it. Um, a few things down here I can resell actually or reuse but yeah this is all downstairs I'd love to eventually I would like to get this built in but apparently we can't but I would love to have all this in here concreted in and turn this into a clean it all up and turn it into like a little gym for the kids I'll paint all the uh, all the whatchamacallits there <laughs> I'm knackered guys I don't know if you noticed um, oh light works that's good but yeah, clean all this up eventually. Mr. 15's got to take that door upstairs and do some work on the bottom of it. But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. We've got to try and get a trailer, buy a trailer and take it all the rubbish away. But I guess, yeah. <sighs> Miss, uh, my daughter, said she'd rather get us a trailer than pay money on a skip bin. So we're probably looking out for a trailer instead. I'm pretty knackered, guys. So that's it for now. I may come back later with more. I don't know. Um, still a lot to be done. As you know, only second day really in here. So... We're not doing too badly, but old man's got the uh, roast cooking, so he's right. Yeah, I'm getting blisters. I've got a splinter in my hand. I can't, I've got to get that out later. I've got pink. Like my four rings even got pink on it. <laughs> my hands are pink. Um, his colour, Mr. Tor Mr. Tor decided he wanted a wine red. And that was the closest wine red he could find at the time, so I hope he likes it. All right, I'm going to go see. I'll see you soon. Here we've got the young lads climbing up and pulling things down. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, wants to, wants yeah. to see, no, he wants to see you. Oh. Oh, she wants to see you about something. No. Quick. 
Is that Dez? Yes! Where was he? He just jumped in the bus. Yeah. He's the third Dez. What the hell? Is that a relief or what? Yeah. I'm stoked. Hey,